In this video, we're going to do a population projection. Most population projections you do would be using a power function, but we don't know how to do that yet. We'll learn about that later on. So we're just going to do a simple, like, times 1.08%. Uh, actually, I guess it's really the same thing, just we normally program a little bit differently. So anytime you're dealing with, like, a population, you can't really use that integer. You need to use the A double. So double initial population. We'll set that equal to 20,000. Double year. Actually, I'd make the year an int. Int year equals 2015. Let's go initial year. Always want to name your variable stuff where it's very easy to figure out what's going on. Your program shouldn't read basically like a book. Uh, Double projected population, and we'll set that equal to the initial population to begin with. Looks like there's. And it looks like there's just some type of spelling error. Okay, that fixed whatever it was. So, since I want to do a chart, I will need a header for it. Uh, we'll type in year, put a tab, and we'll have projected population. I'm going to iterate this a few times, so I need a for loop, int i equals 0. Well, we'll do 10 years in the future, so while i is less than 11, I++, plus plus, because we want to get the projection every year. Let's see, year, so we'll have, the year will be initial year. Oh, well, actually want to print this out to the console, my bad. So, initial... Alright, uh, before we do that, we need our projected population. So, projected population equals projected population times 1 point... Let's say it goes up by 8% each year. So, times 1.08. And let's say we have, I don't know, besides it going up by that, we have 50 people move in every year. And that accounts for, like, deaths and people moving away. Um, goes up by 1.08 plus 50 more people for some reason. Just make it a little bit more complicated. And then we want to output this data. So... First thing we do is the projected year, so it would be the initial year, and then i is incremented by 1 each time, so we can just do plus i, and I'm going to put that inside a set of parentheses, Then I'll do a tab over, and I may have to fix these tabs in just a minute once I run the program, they may be a little bit off. And then I also want to print the projected population. So this should give me a nice little chart. Let me run this program and see what we get. Year 2015, 16, 17, all the way through 2025, which is what we wanted. And we have the projected population for each one. And it looks like it's going up at a rate about what you would expect. It's... Definitely going up more at the end of it than at the beginning, but it doesn't jump up too fast to where we would think it was wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume this was right. Anyways, if you liked the video, there's actually a button to tell me that you liked it. It's down below. Hit it, it changes a really cool color. If you didn't like the video, there's also a thumbs down for that, so go ahead and hit that one instead if you didn't like it. 
there's a video that you'd like me to do in the future over Java, please let me know, and I'll try to do that program for you. Alright, uh, so I appreciate all your comments. If you have some kind of criticism, uh, something that I could do better, please let me know, and I will try to do that. Thanks for watching.